Uh, it's just something we talked about with, you know, that none of us have a ton of experience of it, but we went through all the analytics and talked with those guys, and we just thought it'd be better. We wanted the ball third. Um, if both teams matched and scored, we wanted to be the ones who had the chance to go win, and um, we got that field goal, so we knew we had to hold them to at least to a field goal, and if, if we did, then we felt it was in our hands after that. It's not an easy decision. It's not at the all. The choices are simple, though. Right. You receive or you kick. Yes. Now, if you're going to kick, it's important to defer. Right. Here's why. There could be a second half to overtime. Right. After that first 30 minutes, 15 and 15, they have a little break. Yeah. And then they kick off again. So if you choose to kick, if the Chiefs had won and said, we'll kick, the 49ers would have had, if it had gotten there, right. who knows? Could have gone, I mean, we'll receive again. But they, they get it twice. Right. And it's clearly sudden death by the time we get to what would yeah, be the third, third quarter, quarter of, of overtime. overtime. Right. So you want to defer if you're going to kick. Yeah. And then they choose. Right. Now, now, yeah, they choose. Well, let, let, me, let me correct myself on this. If you defer, the other team could, they could kick. They could say kick. They yeah. could kick. They're like, they we're can. not going to play 30 minutes of overtime. Right. There's never been a, a game in the history of the league that's lasted right. 30 minutes of overtime. Right. We'll deal with that if we get to that point. Right. We're still kicking. So it still comes down to, do you want to kick? You defer, the other team might kick. Right. And the question is this, and this is why I would kick. This is why I would kick. And I set it up in the booth, and yeah. I tweeted it in real time. Yep. If you receive... You're playing three down football. Yeah, that's right. If you get the second possession right. after the team that got the ball first scores, you're playing four down football, at least until you get into field goal range. Right. For the Chiefs, it changed once they got into field goal range. Then it's back to three down football. What are you going to do? And it would have gotten interesting. Let's say you're <laughs> facing fourth and goal from right. the three. Right. Do you tie the game and make it sudden death, or do you go for the win? If you score a touchdown, if the 49ers had scored a touchdown and gotten a one-point extra point, and they're up seven. Do you just go for two if you score and avoid that sudden death? Because we know from years and years and years of sudden death overtime, 67% is the success rate when you kick off in sudden death. Right. So if Kyle got what he was envisioning, that third possession, two out of three times you win if you get to that point. And that's what he was playing for. He was playing for that point. But I think it's more complicated than that. He said we went through all the analytics – I don't think you went through all of them if your number one factor was, I want the third possession, because I think there's a lot more to it than just, I want the third possession. There is. There is a lot more to it. It's a tough one. Like you said, it is. You know, I, I think there's, there's, hey, the angle you talked about, which, of course, we know is very real. The third possession thing's real as well. The game, the way, I'm not going to sit here again and go, oh, I think this is totally wrong and egregious. I certainly think it's something we talk about. You know, I, I think it's fair to say you think it's wrong. I get it. You know, there's a part of me, too, that that goes that way. But I also look at it and go, all right, wait, is there some justifying justification thoughts here to why you would do that? And I think there is. One, the game had been a lot of field goals. So you're going, all right, we kick a field goal. They kick a field goal. We kick a field goal. Game over, right? That's the way the game was kind of playing out. So I think that's where the third possession thing comes into play a little for Shanahan, right, Mike? He's going, wait, we just kicked a field goal. They just kicked a field goal. I mean, so our defense has done pretty good the whole day, keeping them out of the end zone. I'll play that angle. So that's the first thing I would say. Second thing I would say is this, to just play devil's advocate for point of conversation here. Devil's doing fine on his own. Devil's doing fine on his own. You're right. He's killing it right Especially now in the here. world. He's Especially here. Every, oh, damn. He killed me. Sin this City. Guy. Yep. He's just... <laughs> <laughs> he made me do lots of bad things, but, but I go, no, wait, wait, let me just yeah, say one thing. Right. Uh, the hotel that we moved to yeah. after we left Mandalay Bay. Right. And I'm not going to get any free advertising to yeah. it. It smells the way I think heaven would smell wow. everywhere you go. Right. It's incredible. Wow. Anyway, we're thinking heaven, hell. Yeah. Because the other place kind of smells a little right. like hell. Right. In the casino. Right. A little bit. I, I, I grew to like it, though. Yeah. But this other place smells like yeah, heaven. Yeah, see, when I'm in Vegas, ahead. I like the smell of hell a little bit. I like <laughs> I it. I, I do. I'm right, I like interrupted a, you. No. Uh, devil's advocate. But here, devil's advocate is this, too. Right? You just saw Mahomes and them get hot. Right? They just went down the field and almost scored a touchdown at the end of regulation. So here you are, Shanahan, going, man, do I want to give them the – my defense was just on the field for a pretty long drive for them to go down and, and get that, right? 
Do I want to now kick the ball back? Quarterback seems like he's kind of hot. Put my defense, who's tired anyways, back on the field. And now, oh, they march down and score a touchdown. And now we got the pressure of, oh, no, Brock Purdy's got to score a touchdown to tie Patrick Mahomes. And then I do think there's that element, again, where the analytics aren't going to say that, but knowing people, the pressure, the moment where – I can imagine, and I don't know this yet. I haven't talked to my buddy. I would think that's part of the equation as well, what you're thinking about right there. And and here's the reality. There are no practical analytics because it hasn't happened before. They're just theoretical analytics, and it's about sitting around and brainstorming all the different ways it could play out. And you make a good point. And look, the argument I got on social media when I said they should have kicked was the defense is gassed. Kyle didn't say that. Kyle apparently decided ahead of time this is this what, is what we're going to, to do. do. If if we go to overtime, we get these new rules, we win the coin toss, we're going to take the ball. So, yeah, look, I agree with you. It's a decision that needs to be made in the moment based upon everything that's gone on in the game. It right. can't be a prepackaged, this is what we always do. You we're know, coming Kyle, the game like this, Kyle right. always defers if he wins the toss to start the game because he wants to set up the double score yeah. possession at the end of the half possession to start the third quarter that's universal sure unless you're dealing with some completely unusual circumstance like the giants vikings playoff game from 93 when you choose to kick yeah because of the wind right the wind is so bad you want to be kicking with it and then they punt into it but for this i think it's a living breathing thing with the decision that needs to be made based upon all the available factors at the time and i like the argument of it's been field goal fest it was it was most field goals ever in a Super Bowl, seven. So drives are petering out. They're kicking field goals. We get a field goal. They get a field goal. We get a We back. win the game on Sunday. That's what that. I mean. It's and not, it almost happened that way. That's, that's just what I mean. It's not crazy. That's where I, I – listen, I know we're all going to second-guess Shanahan and those type of things, but the flow of the game had showed us that. Now, you know, listen, I know the counter-arguments, ooh, it's Mahomes and he's getting high, and you don't know. And I understand that. I mean, we can get into – you know, even to the fact that over time, do you kick the field goal there? That was, I think, a legitimate question, too. I know there was people in the stands going, I think you'd go for the touchdown right here because it's Mahomes. But, no, I, I have no problem with how the game's managed. Of course they lost, so the game is going to – we're all going to second-guess Shanahan. I understand the aspect of, yeah, they kicked the field goal, and now it gives Mahomes fourth down, right, until they get in their territory, and then they got to kind of play it by by the book again. And that is an advantage to the Chiefs, but I think we've pointed out some other areas that, you know, why you wouldn't make that decision and where the game led them to that decision. And again, I don't know if this was a preconceived thought before the game or if he felt this in the moment, this was the right thing to do. But either way, that's what they did. And, of course, it came back to bite him It the sounded butt. pre-baked. Yeah. It sounded right. like that's what they had planned to right. do. That They went through the analytics and they decided, we want the third possession. That's our key factor. But I think, and this is the thing that we always push back against when it comes to analytics. You have to make your decision based upon all your knowledge, skill, and experience as a coach in that moment. Yep. What's going on right. in this moment? Right. What's my assessment of this game? Is this a field goal game? Is this a touchdown game? You know, the Bills Chiefs game. Right. That sparked this overtime change. It was a touchdown game. That's right. Late. It was right. touchdown fest 2022 up and down the field. And we all knew the Chiefs were going to score a touchdown. Right. Devin McCourty told us about the overtime game in 51 when they won the coin toss. We're winning the game yeah, because we're going to drive down and score because they know what that offense has been doing. So I think one of the factors is what is our offense doing? What is their offense doing? And look at it this way. You mentioned fourth down, the fourth down mentality, playing three down football versus four down football. If the 49ers had encountered fourth and one from their own 34 on that opening drive, are they going for it on their own 34? Mahomes had to. Right. Mahomes had no choice. Right. What would the 49ers have done there? They would have punted it. And yeah, because if you if you miss it there, you've handed the game to the other team. You it's have over. handed the game to the other team. Right. It's over at that point. point. So yeah, I mean, again, I know that changes the, the dynamic, certainly. But I think the big thing is, is other than a short field touchdown after, you know, a ball, a punt going off someone's foot, we saw 13-10, 13, 13, 16, 13, 16, 16, 19, 16, 19, 19, 22, 20, you know, blah, blah, blah. I mean, you know, 22, 19, whatever. So the game was going that way. And again, that's where for all the people out there that are wanting just to absolutely crap all over Kyle Shanahan, 
I will fight back with that right there to just go, wait, it's not that like guaranteed that you should just, you know, kick the ball off and overtime and do that. There were some other aspects here that I certainly think you can make that argument. Uh, and I think it's an interesting discussion altogether that, you know, who knows when the next time we'll have to talk about it again. It's a complicated right. decision right. that no one had ever been required right. to make before. Right. There were and I lose track now. There were 13 postseason games in 2022. It didn't happen once. And now 13 games in 2023 and in the last one. So we've had 26 postseason games with these rules and it happened. And the next time it happens, that will be one of the factors. And that will be the talking point as teams prepare for yeah. it. Well, look at what the 49ers did. And the stuff we're talking about right now, I think, is exactly the kind of brainstorming that happens in team meeting rooms right. in the offseason as they plan for next year. And it's just a new wrinkle. Yeah. And we now have seen it in action. And these are all the things you got to consider. Is it a field goal game? Is it a touchdown game? Who's my quarterback? Who's their quarterback? How do I feel about a short yardage play if I get in a short yardage situation and right. I have to go for it on right. fourth down because I'm going to have to. I can choose to if I have the ball first. I'm going to have to if I have the ball second. How do we feel about that? There's a lot that goes into it. And the Chiefs had pre-baked their decision that they were going to they were going to kick. Yeah. So I, I think the mistake both teams made is they came up with their approach without regard to the game yeah. to the game right and how it felt right when you get to that right and i think yeah. that that's the mistake and i think that's the lesson for every other team and for the two teams that were in last night's game don't make your final decision until you've played the first 60 minutes of the game yeah that's right you got to take that into account you know and i don't know maybe the part of the reason too is you know maybe shanahan saw his Fal the falcons team which was dan quinn's team again i'd like to remind everybody that for the 27th time this week because people still talk about it last night like it was Shanahan coaching the Falcons. But, yeah, even though he experienced that game and said, wait, Brady, end of regulation. My field was on the team along. The defense was on the field a long time. Wait, they got the ball to start overtime. My de the defense is on the field again. And he saw that effect. I don't know. Maybe that went into the mindset of going into that way going into the game that way anyways yeah. that because he still could have changed his plans yeah he's, he's still, still going to change his plans, his plans. No if doubt. anything the way the game went reinforced his decision to take the ball it did yeah it did it did so i know it's a tough one and again that's where i get into my buddy shanahan being cursed a little right now and i feel for him and like i shed a i shed a tear for him after the game i was really hurt you know, that's a tough way to lose the football game. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.